Hi everyone, my name is Mandy Vines and I'm your Jamboree Nails Independent Consultant. Today I want to talk you through what Jamboree Nails are for those of you that have never heard of Jamboree Nails. And I also want to walk you through the application process and the removal process for these wraps. All you're going to need for the application process is a sheet of Jamboree Nail Shield and the application directions are on the back. You're going to need a cuticle pusher an orange stick, scissors, nail clippers, and I like to use tweezers as well. You need a buffer if you want to use that. Um, and you need alcohol wipes or rubbing alcohol with cotton balls. A nail file, and then I also like to use the Jamberry Nails cuticle oil. Now I'm going to walk you through the application process. Okay, I wanted to go over one of the items that we have for Jamberry Nails. It's called the Jamberry Nails Application Kit. And in that kit, it's going to have everything that you need to apply your nail shields. It's going to have your cuticle scissors, your uh, cuticle pusher, two orange sticks, nail clippers, a nail file, and a nail buffer. And it's also going to include cuticle oil, but the cuticle oil that's going to be included in your in your application kit is full size, which sells in the um, catalog for ten dollars in and of itself. And all of it comes with a cute bag, so you, everything will be nice and handy for you for whenever you need to grab it to apply your nail shield. And this is in the this is in the catalog or on my website, and it's the Jamberry Nails application kit. Now we're going to go over the application process. Every set of nail shields comes this way where there are several different sizes of the nail shields so you can always find the size that's going to fit you best. Okay. Most of the, the nail shields, the nail shield designs come with 18 strips which is enough to do 36 fingers. So Basically, each strip is enough to do three to four applications. If you're good at cutting them and you put them on your toes, then you can actually get four applications out of it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, with every set of nail designs that you purchase, it's going to have the application instructions right there on the back for you. So you never have to worry about losing your application instructions. They're going to be right there when you order. Okay. And I always keep them in the bag so that way. So I, that way you always have it available and I keep it in there every time with my design. So that way um, I have it handy. Now, we're going to go over the application process now. Um, this is actually a design that's called Coral Tigress. As you can tell, it's one of those that has tips to it. And I actually get a lot of questions about this because of the fact that, oh, well, my nails are too small. Can I use the type of nail shields that have tips? And the answer is absolutely. They come in three different sizes. This is actually the small size because, obviously, I have pretty short fingernails. They're starting to grow out now, but uh, for the most part, I had small ones when I ordered these. So... Um, as you can see, the main part of the nail is a really short, so that way you can still get a tip even on really short nails. And in the catalog, on the section that talks about the nail tips, it has a little size chart, like this is for your pinky. You put up to it to see what size you would have and things like that. So really, I probably should have gotten the mid-length, but I wanted to make sure that I got the tip on there, so I ordered the short instead. Okay, so the application process, first you want to wash your hands. I like to wash my hands with like a dish soap, like Dawn or something like that, um, because it has a degreaser agent in the dish soap, so it takes all the excess oils off of your nails. And that's one of the things that you want to make sure whenever you apply that you don't have oils on there. Otherwise, it's going to affect the adhesion to your nail. Okay, so I've already cleaned my nail. Um, 
The next thing that we want to do is go ahead and take our cuticle pusher and push back our nails. Now I'm going to do this on, um, I, I guess I'll use my pointer finger first. I took all of mine off today. I've had my cobalt, uh, budding cobalt design on for two weeks. I finally took them off today even though they could have taken, they could have lasted yet another week. So all you're doing is you're taking your cuticle, which is this area back here, and you're pushing it back just to get it out of the way. You don't have to hurt yourself or anything like that. Just enough to get it out of the way. And I like to go ahead and do a couple of fingernails all at the same time just to get it done. And that's all you need to do. Just basically so it, cover, it uncovers the nail fully. So then you want to take your alcohol wipe or just use rubbing alcohol with a cotton ball, however you want to use it. You take your alcohol wipe and you simply scrub your nail to make sure that it's good and clean. Okay, and again, I tend to do a couple at a time. All right, after that, you're ready to apply your nail shield. Now, one thing I like about the nail shield packaging here is that, as you can see, it's clear. The reason for this is to allow you to size up your nail perfectly to find the right size for you. Because sometimes that could be difficult, like if this was a white background, it'd be hard to tell which one would fit. So. I am going to take my finger here, and I think it's going to be this one right here that I'm going to use. So, I like to take my orange stick to help lift it up, so that way I don't get any oil on it. Because again, you don't want to touch it much with your hands at all. So, I'm going to roll it up, and one thing I like to do so that I can have some left over for my toes, is I make sure to kind of eyeball it to see how much nail I'm actually going to need. So I can tell that I'm probably going to need it um, about to there. So I'm going to cut right there with my scissors. And you just cut straight across, just like that. And now I have a nail shield that's ready to go. That's whenever I take my tweezers, I grab the end of it, and one thing about the adhesive is you want to use heat to help bond it. So I have my heater here. If you don't have a heater, you can always use a hair dryer. However, I find that the heater was a lot easier. I used a hair dryer in my first application, and I found that the hair dryer, I had to hold the hair dryer with one hand, hold this with the other hand, turn off the hair. It just it got complicated and, and, and wasn't as, as easy and I found that using the heater is so much more simple to put these on with. So all you have to do is hold the nail shield up to your heat. It only takes about three to five seconds and you're going to notice see how it curved like that. When it curves like that, that means that it's hot enough to apply. So now I'm going to take it onto my nail. Try to make it as straight as you can. If you don't get it set just right the first time, it's okay. You can always lift it up. Not that big a deal. And see, I've made it a little bit crooked, so I'm going to have to lift it up a little bit. So you try to make it as straight as you can. See how I have it right now? So I just basically have the middle on. Then you take your cuticle pusher, and you want to push down the nail shield onto your nail. And again, the closer you can get to your cuticles, the better off you'll be. Okay? Now, one thing I want to mention is that everybody's nails are different. My nails are more curved, so I tend to have more of an issue getting my nail shields on. Um, because I guess if the flatter your nail is, the less you're going to have issues. And so I learned from some other consultants some tricks involved. Now all this is is a Ziploc bag that I cut a strip out of, okay? And all you do is you take it, you wrap it around your finger that you're applying it to, okay? So you just put it on like that. Then you twist it a couple of times. And again, if you have flatter nails, you probably won't even have to do this. But I know my nails now, so I know I have to. Twist it a couple times so it's good and tight. Pull it good and tight. And then I put some more heat on. About 5 to 10 seconds at that point. 
And what this does is it applies the pressure at the same time that you're applying the heat. So it helps to adhere a lot better to the nail at that time. So then you take it off and as you can see it's a lot tighter still. In fact I've got to lift it up off my skin there which that doesn't hurt just so you know. Um, because it's, it's barely on. It doesn't like to attach to the skin. It just likes to attach to the nail. So as you see, I have a little bit hanging off here. All you want to do is take your nail scissors and clip it off. Like that. And I still have some hanging over, which that's perfectly fine and is expected. All you do then is you take your nail file uh, and you want to file straight up and down. Okay, don't want to file like you would normally file a nail because what you're wanting to do is the rest of the adhesive or the, the nail wrap that's left, you want it to come off of your nail, but you want it to have a tight seal on the end. So what I do, what you want to do is file straight up and down, just like that. And when you do that, you get a little bit of the nail shield that comes down off of the nail. You simply remove that, I'm having a little bit of issues with it, it doesn't want to let go. A lot of times I wait to do this after I've done all the nails because you seem to have a harder time when the nail shield's still warm, so I have to cut off the end of it on the, in this case. But if you wait and do all of your nails, apply them all, and then go and do your nail file, it's actually better that way. And it come, it, I promise you, they come right off. So there you have it. I have my applied nail shield right here, the Coral Tigress. Okay, and I would continue to do that with all of my nails. Now, I know that seemed like a lot on the video, but it actually isn't once you get started on it. Um, your first application is going to take you longer because you're just getting used to the steps. But after that, it's going to become faster and faster for you to apply. A lot faster than applying nail polish because you have to do coats and coats of nail polish. And you have to wait for the drying between coats and everything like that. So it's, everything will work out great. And that's all that there is to it. And next I'll show you how to remove them. Okay, everyone. Now I'm going to go over the removal process. Now. You're going to do different processes depending on how long your, your nails have been on. Um, there's the quick removal process. All you would have to do is take your heater, you heat your wrap for, ten, for um, 15 seconds, and then you slowly start to peel it off using your thumb. Um, so that's an easy process. If for some reason you've had, you have issues with it coming off using that process, then you want to use the gentle removal process, which the gentle removal process is also used for whenever you've had your nail wraps on for more than 10 days. All you would do then is um, take acetone fingernail polish remover and um, soak it in there for 20 to 30 seconds or you can put it on a cotton ball and uh, break the seal of the nail on, around the cuticle because by that time it would have grown out and it would be easier to get to. Um, you take your cotton ball and just kind of go and peel. Put a little bit on there, peel, put a little bit on there and peel. The, my favorite process to get these off is actually one that I learned from the consultants because they were discussing it and it is actually by using oil. So the oil is just any cooking oil or anything will do fine. You heat it up in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds and you want to go ahead and break the seal. So I'm going to show you the, how I do that. And see I just put this one on. Y'all know this. So it's going to be a little harder for me to get it off. But you break the seal. So I've bent it up. And then you soak it in the oil for a few seconds. and then I'm going to start to peel it off. Now if you start to have issues getting it off, soak it back in there again. And you go to peel it off some more. 
and then you soak it again. And of course this is easier if you use a bowl, but since I'm only doing one finger, I just used a cup. And soak it again. And one more time. So again, if you were using a bowl, you could do all your nails at one time to save time. No big deal. And as you can tell, it came right off. There's the nail shield. Here's my nail. No damage has been done to my nail whatsoever using that process. And then I just take my paper towel and get the oils off and then I go wash my hands later. Um, also, one of the things I forgot to mention when we were doing the application was um, how I mentioned that y if you cut these just right, you'll have a little bit left over. As you can tell from where I cut it, I still have, you know, so much room for my second nail. And I'm not going to need that much of a nail because I don't have nails that long. So when you measure it again, because um, I'd be using my next pointer finger probably, um, I would only need that much. So if I'm cutting right there, I have this whole pink sheet right here that I can use on my toes. Now, toes are a little different because they're different shapes and sizes and everything like that. My toes are really tiny, so I would have to cut that. That would actually do several of my toes. Um, but that's just a little tip. It's a little different when it's tips because it's going to be the tip color that you get for your toes. But if it's a pattern, the pattern goes all the way up. So you can have the pattern on your fingers and the pattern on your toes. So it's a really good tip um, because very few of my toes are actually small enough for that. Um, so that's another tip to get more wear out of your Danbury nails. Another thing I forgot to mention was the cuticle oil. Now the cuticle oil is very different. I've had cuticle oil before and one thing I like about this is the smell of it because normally cuticle oil doesn't have a smell but they added a smell to it and it actually smells really good. So. Um, all you would want to do is run it around your cuticles. It's got a paint brush, kind of like nail polish does. And you put it around your, your cuticles here. You can also do this when you have your Jamberry nails on because one thing to remember is um, whenever, you have, whenever you apply your nails and, and they're totally done, it has a watertight seal, so it's waterproof. So even if you're applying the oil around it, which we're using basically here to take it off, we had to break the seal to take it off using this oil. If you have it on and you're using your cuticle oil around it, it's got a waterproof seal because it was it has been applied correctly. It will not harm the nail wraps that are on your fingers. Cuticle oil is very important for your cuticle health. Um, it makes sure that they don't dry out. It also helps to hydrate the nail around it as it grows out and everything. So it's really a good good addition to the starter kit that you your uh, application kit that you buy. So that's all there is about Jamberry nails. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. If you ever have an issue with the application process cuz like I said, everybody's nails are different. I've got tips galore, so just let me know if you have any issues and tell me what it is that you're that's happening to the nail wraps and I'll be able to find a, a, a tip to help solve that problem. So I hope that you all go to the website and participate in the sales challenge and again if you have any questions just let me know. Thank you. Bye.